Hi everyone. I've been really enjoying the Overwatch 2 beta recently, and I've come to especially love the new girl on the block, Junker Queen. She's the most fun I've had playing a tank since Monkey, and I got to thinking about why that is. So I've compiled a quick analysis of her kit and playstyle here today, and a little explanation as to why I love Junker Queen. First up is her boomstick. Old reliable. Capped in six shells. The scatter gun. It does 80 damage a shot six times over and reloads its entire clip at once. Pretty standard fare for a video game shotgun. So there's not really much to say about it other than it's reliable, fun to use, and rewarding. What's really fun, though, is how well it rewards good positioning and clever use of your other tools. Which brings us to item B, her knife. Jagged Blade, nicknamed Gracie, which is a super cute name by the way, is essentially a tomahawk cod, but a lot less powerful, but not any less satisfying. On a successful hit, you'll deal 80 impact damage, as well as 15 wound damage over time. This wound damage will also heal you in that time frame. It's a wonderful tool to start fights, end fights, use in fights, whittle a stick in fights, use said stick in fight. I mean, really, it's the perfect tool, because not only is it immensely satisfying to bury Machete in Hanzo's skull, but its damage is nothing to scoff at. 95 damage is roughly half of a lot of heroes' health. Follow that up with a couple of scattergun blasts, and you've got yourself an enemy corpse. Also, the knife knocks back people when you return it, which is great for disorienting the enemy gamers, and you'll get 15 free health. Junker Queen thrives in close quarters, especially indoors or in tight chokes. When the enemy has nowhere to run, getting stepped on by a 7 foot tall Ozzy with a shotgun is the last place you want to be, unless you're me. This is where her axe comes in. With 90 impact damage, 40 wound, and a hitbox fatter than your mother, a quick hit with a carnage ability can quickly turn the tide of a fight in your favor. However, when you're not lurking in hallways like a little creep, you can always opt for what I have dubbed the jump scare technique. All you do is sit near the objective or a small, highly trafficked area and wait. When you know some overeager DPS is going to be coming your way, whether by sight or footsteps, you step behind the corner, start your ability, and with any luck your swing will connect with some poor unfortunate soul, leaving them so terrified they'll go home to their friends and tell them that Freddy Fazbear was added to Overmunch. This is less effective in choke points, but also does a great job of getting some damage out there and pushing the team back. We are now on the section for Commanding Shout. It is good for literally everything. Bonus health and speed will always be good. Use it at your own discretion. It's super fun to chase kills with. This concludes the section for Commanding Shout. Her ultimate is essentially just her two other abilities again, but a lot better. Which I think was actually a fun choice by the devs. It's okay to have a gimmick sometimes, you know? Her ultimate, Rampage, shoots you forward in a straight line with a pretty large AOV that's perfect for initiating a push. It deals 100 total damage and heals you for the same. Keep in mind, with each enemy that you hit, you gain 100 health. So that's potentially 500 health to get back to your team. That, in addition to your commanding shout, keeps you pretty beefy so it's not as risky as it looks. Any enemies that you run over are also hit with anti-heal, which means the damage your team now inflicts is meaningful. All of this comes together to form something that I admire in a game. Synergy. Her moves work together not only to put out good damage and keep the other team at bay, but they manage to keep it fun. And not only fun, but useful. I'm someone who always plays the most gimmicky, useless characters in any game, because why press him when we can press all the buttons? Ugh. <laughs> it's cringe. But Junker Queen feels like the exception to me. She has a high skill ceiling and decent effectiveness. It's fun to slap shit around and improvise combos, all while keeping that objective moving forward. Overall, Junker Queen is a fantastic new addition that makes me want to actually play Overwatch, and that's really saying something considering I'm just a bitter little TF2 player that doesn't like my movement on cooldown. So get out there, camp those chokes, dive headfirst into the enemy team, and always try to ruin a healer's day. Bye!